Hi, this is Dawn Olszewski of DoStampingWithDawn.com and I'm here with another How'd She Do That video. And today I'm going to share this fun card. I actually showed it on my blog the other day for my Do Stamper Stars Challenge. This is a challenge that I do every Thursday with my Stampin' Up! group. Um, it's my downline demonstrators and we share ways to get inspired. So from color challenges to sketch challenges to home inspiration challenges challenges. Um, we hope you get inspired. But this particular one was a sketch challenge and I thought it was so much fun. I really enjoyed this one. And it created this kind of square diamond pattern. And I thought I'd share some tips with you today on how to do that. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need is to select some designer series paper. Essentially this is pattern paper by Stampin' Up! It comes in 12 by 12 sheets, most of them, and you get two sheets of each pattern. Now they are double sided, like that, and the maritime pattern, which is the one that I have gone with, is a really a perfect choice. It has a lot of smaller images so that when we punch those out with the one inch punch, you still can see a lot of that. Now even this large one, that has bigger, larger images on it, um, there's lots of things that you can choose from to punch this. So you can see I've done some selective punching out of it. So the fish, the starfish, even the boat, you could do the face of the um, octopus or even the tail of the, the whale. So there's lots to choose from, even just from this one particular pattern. But of course, you can um, coordinate it with the back side as well. All right, now I've already punched mine. You need eight squares. So here are mine right here. And as you can see, I've already positioned my first row here. And so I'm going to talk about that and show you how to do that. So let's come in a little bit closer so you can see. Now I started on the left hand side. Let's move these out of the way a little bit. And so First we started with our square, because that's what we punched it with, and we're going to turn it 90 degrees and you're going to get the diamond shape. And if you match up the tips here to the bottom and the top is along the edge here. That'll be the perfect positioning for this piece of cardstock. Now my cardstock measures 5 inches by 3 and 3 quarters inch. And then all I did was make sure that they were, um, the rest of the diamonds were positioned so that they touched the bottom and they, they came near each other on the sides. And then the last one, look how nice that came, came to the edge here. So now we, all we have to do is position our last ones. And once this is in place, easy. So we just get these going. And I'm just going to put these right in here. Perfect. See how this one, look how this one lines up with the top edge and the bottom tip being right along that edge there. Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. So isn't that nice? So we'll tip this over and all I have to do is trim off the excess on both of these and my pattern is ready to go. See how cute is that? I love the way that looks. And like I say, you're going to have, Stampin' Up! has tons of designer packs to choose from. I think that there's a lot that would really look great. The Lullaby for Babies. I think um, hmm, the Flower Pot for a kind of a floral um, look going on. Ooh, even these smaller packs, these are called Stacks. They come... And you get four sheets of six and a half by four and a quarter, I want to say. Four and a half, maybe. I'd have to look at that. But a lot of these have smaller patterns in it that would work great for this particular um, technique. So I've gone ahead and I have layered this. I've layered it onto real red. This measures five and an eighth and three and seven eighths. And then onto a full card base which is five and a half by eight and a half. 
and we're going to just finish this off with some cute little stamping. Now I've done the stamping for the octopus. It's from a set called Sea Street. This is adorable and perfectly coordinates with this paper. And then it was stamped with Night of Navy. And the greeting has come from a set called Biddy Banners. I love this set. Um, it is perfect for lots of different occasions and it matches um, framelits. There's framelits for each of these sizes so it's quick and easy cutting. And that was stamped with Real Red. Now I've gone ahead and added some dimensionals. Now this was punched with, let's see, the two inch circle punch. Now you can see I'm going to put this right over this one so certainly we could do without it but you never know when you're designing your cards where you're going to place your focal pieces so I would go ahead and just put it on there anyways. Now the banner is going to go right here and I've already added dimensional but I felt like it needed another one since we're going to kind of attach it to this so what you do when you're going to, I'm going to double stack them. I'm just going to add another one right on top of that but of course I peeled that paper first and now I'm ready to go and we're going to add it right there perfect and there you go there's the finished card isn't that adorable so you can make all kinds of cards like I was mentioning earlier some baby and flowers and all kinds of things so enjoy this kind of square diamond border and I hope you have some fun making some of them yourselves be sure to stop by my blog at dostampingwithdawn.com for more creative ideas and inspiration